The following problem asks us to find the equation of a line perpendicular to the given line through uh, the given point. So you've got this whole new line, different from the line that is given to you, but also perpendicular. Remember, perpendicular is at a right angle. Plus, the key to remember is perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. Negative meaning opposite signs, reciprocal meaning one over, whatever that is. So we're, to find slope, we always look at y equals mx plus b. So that means we need to do some manipulation on 3x plus 5y equals 15. So we need to solve for y to get into the slope-intercept form. So subtract 3x from both sides. You end up with 5y equals a negative 3x plus 15. Divide by 5 to, find, to get y all the way by itself. So divide both sides by 5. And you get y equals a negative 3 fifths x plus 3. So that means the slope of the line we're trying to find a perpendicular line to is negative 3 fifths. So to find the negative reciprocal of that for my slope, take negative 3 fifths, turn it over, so it's negative 5 over 3, and then change the sign to make it a negative reciprocal. So the slope we're looking for is 5 over 3. So we take the, the 5 over 3 and we're going to ignore everything we've done so far. All we wanted to find was that, that slope 5 over 3. Now we're going to go use the point 6 negative 1 to help us find it. So like I said, the negative reciprocal in this case is, is 5 thirds. So at, well now you've got a slope and you've got a point. You forget that we're even dealing with perpendicular lines. The whole goal is to find that slope. So we plug it into the slope intercept form and you end up with y equals 5 thirds x plus b. Now you need to just find b so you plug in values you know are true for x and y which would be the point that we're going through. So plug in negative 1 for y and 6 for x. You've got to multiply this out. Six, 5 thirds times 6 over 1 is like 30 over 3, which is equivalent to 10. So you end up with negative 1 equals 10 plus b. Subtract 10 from both sides, and you get b equals a negative 11. So your solution is y equals 5 thirds x plus a negative 11, or minus 11, whatever you want to say. So your method again is find the slope of the original line, take the negative reciprocal of it, and then take the slope and the point and use the y equals mx plus b to find the final equation of the line.